conspiracy theorists seem to forget how hard it is for even two people to keep a secret. I definitely thought of this during the pandemic. Some of the theories I heard would have involved both federal and provincial health boards keeping the same secret as well as the employees of almost every hospital in the country. That's practically impossible. If you can't get a group of friends to agree on where to go for dinner, good luck getting a large group of people to fake a moon landing. The real conspiracy is that there is no Illuminati, not any new world order, not even lizard people. The whole world is just made up of ordinary people who are barely able to do their jobs right. Nobody is in charge, there's no unified purpose, no secret societies pulling the strings it's all just uncontrollable shit. The only way to be absolutely certain that two people will keep a secret is for one of those people to be dead. That's what my grandma always said. Must have been pretty hard for those involved in the Manhattan Project. Yes some are absolutely bats hit theories, but to say conspiracies don't exist altogether is like saying the earth is flat. The world is being controlled in secret by billionaire secret societies Illuminati etc etc. In reality the billionaires controlling and manipulating everything are out in the open and make no secret about any of it. This is kind of a silly take. With that logic all our military intel would be wildly known. It is clear that people can keep secrets in some situations. Conspiracy. Two or more people conspiring. With that definition most things are a conspiracy. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that two or more powerful influential people try to have control over the population. That's not saying it's just one big group and they're all in on it and know each other and go to meetings. It's just a logical conclusion that powerful people work with other powerful people to get results they want. I.e. They are conspiring to do something. Doesn't even have to be a negative or bad for society. The word is overused incorrectly used as an insult. When did they stop conspiring exactly? Watergate. MK Ultra? Conspiracies still exist because corruption still exists. The government is not a monolith. This argument that two people can't keep a secret ignores the reality that, unless mass media allows you to discuss something, they will simply bury it. Remember when NBC killed reporting on Weinstein's behavior with females in Hollywood? Sure, some people knew about it. But what does that matter if it is hidden from the masses? Those who will say the truth will be labeled as conspiracy theorists, because that's what mainstream media has decided. People who haven't experienced coercion massively underestimate how effective a motivator it is for keeping a secret. OP seems to forget how hard it is to figure out real secret from avalanche of bullshit we are bombarded with every day. So what if it gets out? It will be just one of thousand crazy theories. You're right, they can't. That's why we have whistleblowers and leaks. The rush to silence them is just confirmation. Never heard of the intelligence field? Thousands of people keep very important secrets without spilling them. If you do tell those secrets, you'll likely be found out and that's 30 years in prison unless you're a politician, apparently. Source former intel analyst. Anti-conspiracy theorists also seem to forget how many conspiracies have been true. Counterpoint the average person has much less concern with keeping a secret than someone behind a conspiracy. The government keeps lots of secrets just fine. FDR was in a wheelchair. JFK was having countless affairs. J. Edgar Hoover wore a dress. The Gulf of Tonkin incident was faked. We still haven't released all the JFK assassination files why? Because some of the things in the files are still secret. You don't need a formal conspiracy when interests are aligned George Carlin. Counterpoint people who categorically disbelieve conspiracy theories on the grounds that they are conspiracy theories seem to forget that. The very fact that there is a conspiracy theory means that at least one person couldn't keep the secret. And yet military projects stay secret all the time, odd that. I'm skeptical of a lot, but you don't think the government has any secrets. They have a top secret classification. People can very much keep a secret in specific situations. 
Shit, if a friend tells me to keep a secret, I do it. Not everyone is a blabbermouth. For example, let's take chemtrails, and think the number of people who should be involved. The pharmaceutical industry that developed the compound. The chemical industry that produces the compound. The people who transport the compound and load it into each plane. The architects that design the airports and the engineers that design the airplanes. The pilots themselves. Officials in past, present, and future governments, all around the world. People act like conspiracy theories are never proven true lol. They couldn't even keep it a secret that wrestling was fake. This ignores that there are literal conspiracy theories that were kept secret until Freedom of Information Acts discovered them. Yes, most conspiracy theories are nuts, but that doesn't mean they all are. I like a good conspiracy theory, it's like the modern version of Here There Be Dragons. I love what-if scenarios, but only to keep a sense of wonder about the world. Anti-conspiracy people seem to forget real conspiracies, that were only uncovered because the documents were made public some 60 years later. With secret government agencies or bad business practices a lot of shit that was going on for multiple years and involved hundreds, if not thousands of people there was maybe oh any whistleblower. And for every whistleblower there's tens of thousands of people willing to keep the illegal practices under the blankets. There are hundreds of special access programs etc that have never seen the light of day. I don't believe in the vast majority of conspiracies, but I guarantee you there are other MK Ultra type programs that we will never know about. That's not the point sometimes the truth is so wild people won't believe it the secret is the truth itself. When you go up the chain as far as money is involved you have people with an inordinate amount of money and control over others, and you may only need a few people to keep a secret. They don't need to keep it a secret anymore. There is so many differentiating viewpoints and ways to get information now. A left-right leaning think tank just needs to do a fact check and they essentially muddy the waters so much that truth will never be found. That's why the establishment likes us on separate teams red and blue. One side is going to listen to their commentators and the others will listen to theirs, effectively keeping everyone from the truth. It's easy to believe in conspiracies when you don't know how anything works. I saw a quote once that said something like conspiracy theorists have clearly never tried to organize a group of people to do anything. My limited experience in that is trying to organize a fantasy draft and it's a real pain in the ass, and all I have to do is get 10 people to log on for a single hour together. Most things that get conspiracies attached to them can be explained away as people being stupid and all lazy. You know, because most people are. I don't know the source, but I remember hearing this in a movie at some point. The only way for three people to keep a secret is if two of them are dead. The government did a pretty good job of keeping the atomic bomb secret with the Manhattan Project. The key is compartmentalization of information so only a few people have the complete picture. This is silly it's easy to hide conspiracies. Especially when the people involved have resources and can go to jail. What's hard is to convince conspiracy theorists that their favorite blowhard isn't working for the man, and them all forming the same Q group isn't the biggest conspiracy on the planet. Maybe they can answer this question how do you get billions of adults to act like idiots during a pandemic? And conspiracy deniers forget that people conspire to do things all the time. I've watched so many crime shows where the break in the case comes years later BC the murderer told a bunch of people and they came forward. People really just be spilling secrets all over the place. That's the hilarious thing. I've literally been involved in secret government operations, and within about 20m of the meeting ending everyone at the station knew about it. If not the actual details then at least something was up. The team directly involved couldn't act innocent for Toffee. By the time the operation started everyone knew every detail. This was a time period of about two months. Now none of this was highest level secret but it was something to be kept from the general public. It's pretty easy to keep a secret when you're threatened with death or life in prison. You don't realize the power the government has to silence people. This is only true when the secret has no power. Secrets that when told remove power, are kept close to people's chests.